Jake, well, chances are you placed a bet on tonight's game. One in five Americans were estimated to place a bet this year on the Super Bowl. That is according to the American Gaming Association. But how does that number compare to Illinois? News 3's Paul Wilcoxon has a special look at the billion dollar sports betting business. In billion dollars. That's a billion with a B. That's how much money was generated in 2022 in Illinois with sports betting. And there's no bigger sports betting day than Super Bowl Sunday. It is the biggest sports betting day of the year in the United States. When it comes to placing a sports wager, Super Bowl Sunday reigns supreme in the betting world. If we look at Illinois, in 2021, they bet just over $45 million just on the Super Bowl just in Illinois. And last year, it was over $60 million. Uh, so we expect that to go up. And don't think we're just talking about who wins and who loses. Prop bets have been popular for decades. Now those prop bets can be placed over your cell phone. It seems like the day is is built around a lot of different betting options. Everything from just having, you know, squares at home to to doing, you know, a, a fun little novelty bet on one of these sportsbook apps. Dave Briggs is the managing editor with Play Illinois. He's been covering the world of betting for nearly 25 years. One of the novelty bets that is really popular every year is what color Gatorade will be poured on the winning coach. Almost a year ago, online sports betting rolled out in Illinois, allowing users to download an app and place bets right from their phones. And do it sort of more privately and, and place a little $2 wager and do something fun and see what happens. And it's intimidating. The American Gaming Association estimates 50 million people will wager as much as $16 billion on the big game. Gambling on football is the number one sport uh, to gamble on has been for a very long time. It sets up very well for lots of different options and lots of different things you can gamble on. While Illinois has seen a growth of online sports betting over the past year, states like Missouri and Kentucky don't have the option for adults to bet online. It won't allow you to place a bet. If you go to Kentucky with your Illinois gambling app and you're physically standing in Lexington, you it will know, oh, this person's no longer in Illinois. They're not allowed to place this bet. That means people in those states have to cross into Illinois to place a bet online. They have an actual geo fence, so they have an actual geolocation like you would have if you are, are planning a trip and you put in Google Maps. It knows where you are. So when you log on to these apps, it it you have to have those geolocation uh, software parts of your app working so that it knows, oh, well, I'm in Southern Illinois, I'm in Chicago, I'm in wherever. While areas like Missouri and Kentucky debate opening their states up to online betting, Briggs says the revenue the state of Illinois brings in might be an incentive too enticing to pass up. We're talking hundreds of millions of dollars a year going back in Illinois. Briggs says that's millions for roads and schools that would lack funding without the revenue from sports betting. To not legalize gambling, the activity is happening anyway. So you just lose that money and people are betting offshore with uh, not the most reputable people. So better to make sure it's controlled and regulated. And so keep some of that money in the state and, and good things can happen. Paul Wilcoxon, News 3. Now, compulsive gamblers may have substance misuse, personality disorders, depression, or anxiety. Officials with the Perry County Counseling Center say gambling addiction is like other addictions. They say gamblers are chasing that high, and like other addicts, it's a chase they can never catch. That fuels their continued compulsion to gamble more and more, and gambling addiction can also play a toll on families. That's why experts say it's usually the families that see the effects of the addiction first. We think gambling is not an addiction like a heroin addiction or a meth addiction, but the reality is it is just as dangerous to the family. The family members will say, wow, our checking account is $300 short this week. Where did it go? Then they begin to bring that to their loved one, and hopefully they began to address that issue as quickly as possible. Now, if you or you, anyone you know has a gambling problem, there is help out there. You can call the number on your screen, 1-800-GAMBLER, or you can text ILGAMB to 833-234.